the skin change video. My name is Ninky Boy, and uh, today I will show you how to install the Cisco Skin Changer. What you do is you go to my description and you click on the link, which is this one, cschanger.ru. You're gonna go scroll down and you're gonna click this button. It's gonna download this file here for you. You wanna save it on desktop. After that, you're gonna right click this file and click extract here, and then you will get this file. What you can do is you double click this and you go to CSGO changer. Double click that and you're gonna get this message. Just click the upper one. Now you get this window. Just click uh, the middle button. You're gonna get a, uh, a site but you can just close that. And then you click the upper one again. Now you can close this, and there you go, you can see this button. You can now go to Steam and log in. Once you are logged in, you can now open this launcher again and you click the button and uh, make sure that the button appears grey, so then you know that, it's, that it is working. You can minimize this and you click play. As you can see I am now in the lobby, now I click home on my keyboard and it will open this window. You can, uh, you can change all of your skins, I'm gonna change my knife and uh, as you can see I uh, already have done some stuff with the skin changer but I'm gonna uh, select the, uh, the no, Nomad knife, Crimson Web and then his name Ninky Boy. Here you can select what team counter terrorist or terrorist. I decided to select the terrorist. You can do this for the AK as well and for every every weapon. You can uh, mess around with that if you want. You can also uh, select wearables. This are your, uh, these are your gloves. Let's uh, select the blood hunt ones and you can also get the old sounds. When you're making uh, changes, always make sure you click save config. And now you can click home again and you can join a, a game. I'm gonna join deathmatch. As you can see, I now joined the terrorist team, and there we go, we got our knife. And I get shot down by the first one. And I got shot from behind. As you can see, we got the Crimson Web with our name and our stat track. It's a really nice knife, I really like this one. But I also got the Neon Rider. I'm currently uh, testing this on my alt account, and uh, I, I never got banned. I've been playing like five games, so I, I'm pretty sure that this is undetectable. I just got shot at. I'm gonna play with the AWP. Ooh. If you want to change the skin for your AWP, you can of course do that. You just go to weapons and you search for AWP. And now you can select all of those skins. I'm gonna select the, uh, I'm gonna have to search for it because I don't know where it is. Very good. 
You see a theorist, I really like this one. And as you can see, it's automatically changing. You don't always have to click uh, save config, but I really, uh, I re really should click on this one just to make sure. And as you can see, we now got a nice skin for all our AVP as well. And um, you can use this, this skin changer to make nice montages if you want. If you want to. As you can see, I still didn't get banned. I'm pretty sure that this is undetectable. I can hear someone up here. Ooh. <laughs> what? How did I miss that? If you really want, uh, you can always combine the skin changer with my cheats, as you can see. This is the, this is uh, this is Claps. I'm currently using Claps. Uh, this is my premium cheat, though, uh, but you can use Ninkware if you want. You can see you can also just no scopes, but uh, with the AWP you gotta be lucky. As you can see, if you keep playing like this, how I'm doing right now, just wall banging people, you're gonna get banned for sure. Not because of the skin changer, but because of my cheat. So you gotta play legit, like you, uh, you act like you don't have cheats. 